Hey guys, it's David, back finally with a video. Uh, I know I posted a video a few months ago, I think it was probably around like end of January, right around the beginning of the new year, talking about what I've been doing and shit like that and why I haven't been making videos. And uh, I was planning on making more videos, and for some reason I just never really got around to it. Uh, it's kind of funny, you know, I talked about working for VLO and whatnot, and it was right around the time after I made that video. I had made a video after that to release a couple days later. And I got hit up to go to New York for the pop they did in Harlem when they released uh, Air Force One and shit. So I kind of had to get my shit together, do that. Uh, get, came back. And at that point, you know, I was still had my job that I fucking hated and I quit. So I've kind of been in an in-between place in my life. You know, it's funny because I've actually had probably more time to make videos than ever before. But, um, you know, working a lot on my own shit. And now kind of really getting deep into looking for jobs and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I wanted to come back with a decent video today. So, uh... I actually recorded this video, like pretty much the same video, like right around that time, but I was talking about some of the shoes that I had gotten, uh, but I kind of wanted to redo it because I got another pair and one of the pairs that I had is gone now, so I figured I'd redo it. Uh, I got like three pairs that I'm going to show today. Um, I was, you know, I was lucky enough when I was in New York to get a pair of, you know, the Velo and Air Force Ones, but I think I'm going to do a video in itself maybe talking about those because they're fucking crazy, dude. Like I don't really wear sneakers like at all. I wear boots. You know, shit like that. That's, that's more of my style. But these fucking shoes are crazy, man. Like, I fucking love them. It's like, they're probably the nicest, probably honestly, the, like the nicest leather of, the shoe, of any shoe I have. Like, Margiela even. It's really fucking nice. But, so I'm just going to get into these today. Some Andy Mulemeester and Rick. And that's actually it. Those are the only two brands. So, uh, let's get right into it. All right, so the first pair I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, I got these probably like a month and a half, two months ago off of like a new website I use all the fucking time. Like obviously like Grailed is pretty much like the destination for most of the shit that I get nowadays, but uh, it's actually I have a diverse area with all these shoes where I got them from. These are from, it's like an online luxury consignment website called therealreal.com. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of it before. I just found out about it probably like the beginning of the year. It's fucking awesome. It's mostly like, I feel like catered towards like older consumers, I feel like, cause it's like they, you send the shit to them and they do all the work for you. They sell it, they package it, they photograph it. So you get like less money. So I feel like it's more for like older people who are maybe like, I don't want to deal with posting the shit, going to the post office. But uh, I got these for a seal. These are Rick Owens, like kind of cracked, like suede boots and like a kind of like a dark chocolatey brown. Bro, I paid, you probably think, oh man, you probably paid like 800, 500, 1,000. Probably paid $220 for these things. Brand new, there was nothing. I mean, you can even see, like I've worn them. There's like nothing on these, bro. Like. 200 and fucking, yeah, what did I say, 225? I think it was 225. I know it was less than 250, but these are crazy, man. Like, these guy could have easily, if you were to see these on Grail brand new, bro, easy 500, like, easy. Like, I fucking, I don't even know what to say. These are probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. Like, these are so comfortable. They fit perfectly. Like, the zipper, I'm not one. I usually tend to make fun of the people that tweak about their zippers, like, the brand of their zippers. Like, bro, if it works, it works. I don't really fucking care. These are nice ass zippers, dude. Like, look, just look at the silver, bro. It's fucking beautiful, man. Uh, so I absolutely love these. I love like the crack suede or whatever. And uh, yeah, I wear these. I wear these pretty often. I still, even though I've shown them before, my Margiela black high boots are still what I wear most of the time. But I really, really like these. And I'm thinking about rocking the way I want to rock these. I did this the other day. I had a pair of, like board shorts on, like floral board shorts with these, and it was like it was fucking dope. So. First pair, Rick Owens, mainline too, not dark shades. These are mainline Rick Owens, military brown, suede, cracked boots. All right, so the next pair we got here is another pair of fucking military boots because, bro, that's all I fucking wear. I don't care how hot it is, how cold it is. I got boots for every weather, man. So these are a pair of Andamula Meester. Fuck, I don't even know what I'd call these. Military, I guess we just call them military boots, to be honest. Um, zippers on each side, you can see... And they got button class on the top, which really aren't necessary. Uh, they used to have a strap that goes like through here, if you can see. But I took that out. I just I was getting annoyed. It was too much to too much shit I had to do. But dude, another steal in my opinion. I, I don't know how many of you are too familiar with Andy Mila Meester. She's an original member of the Antwerp Six, which is like a huge deal in the like fashion design world. Like it's a very very luxurious company that she sits in. Uh, to me, she was along with like Ray Kokobo from Comedy Garçon, one of the OG like goth designers, I, I would like to say. I'm sure there are more, but probably two of the most prolific. Um, been a big fan of her work for a long time. You know, I learned a lot about her in school and just 
really sparked my interest in there. And that's kind of like she fits my style, even though she makes shit for people that weigh 90 pounds. I can still wear her fucking boots, which I have plethora over my time. Um, they're pretty beat up, but I got a pretty good price. I actually got these off eBay, which sometimes you can really find the steals on eBay, because for the most part, people who sell shit like this have transitioned to Grailed. So I feel like the people that use eBay still kind of maybe are uneducated on what they can get for what they're selling, because in my opinion, I paid $145 for these, which I, I have to imagine retail, these had to have been close, if not over $1,000. To be honest, and Emile Meester shoes, boots, clothing in general is really, really expensive. And this leather is nuts, bro. Like, it is super thick, super soft. It, it bends and moves with your body so easily, as like I've noticed like with like the suede shoes I have, and they just, they fit so great. They're great for like, in the wintertime, you know, when it's snowing, these were awesome, these high platforms, so you don't fall and shit, you don't slip with the stuff on the bottom. Uh, I really love these, and to be honest, I'm such a sucker for anything with a side zip. Like, I hate lacing, I hate tying shoes, I can't fucking stand it. I just want to pull a zipper down, put my foot in, pull the zipper up, and I'm done. So, these Andamila Meesters got off eBay, another steal, bro, $145. Like, bro, I, I can't front, like, I'm not really fucking good at finding shit for really cheap prices, man. Like, I'm really fucking nice with this shit, bro. So, and Emile Meester, high top, military boots. All right, last, most certainly not least, I, actually, these are probably the most, these are definitely the most recent. I just got these, like, fucking yesterday. Uh, well, I just celebrated my birthday last week, so I wanted to get myself something, and it's, it's been, like, a kind of a funny tradition, but for the past three years... I've gotten myself a pair of Andamil Meester shoes or boots for my birthday. So I happened to like two days, or no, it was probably a week before my birthday. I saw these on Grailed. $110. Just a pair of Andamil Meester white leather. They're kind of like, they're almost like high top Ramones, but I think they're better quality to be honest because I've seen Ramones, I've felt Ramones, and they're uncomfortable. I, I, I'm not really that big fan of them. I like the way they look, but these are way better, bro. The leather on these is nuts. They're pretty beat, to be honest, because it's an expensive pair of shoes, and to sell them for $110, you know, there's there's a reason why. <laughs> I mean, they're beat to shit, but at the end of the day, I almost think that's like that's like the style of these type of shoes. They're not supposed to look beautifully clean or anything. like. They're supposed to look beat up. Like, that's, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they're like really expensive shoes, but that's just the way I like it. They're super dirty. But the leather, the quality of this leather is going to last for a long ass time. I mean, the guy who I was talking to who sold them to me, you know, he says every every season he buys new ones. So this is a year's worth of damage, which to me is, fuck, this looks like 10 years worth of damage. But I don't really give a shit. I don't really wear white shoes a whole lot because as a big dude, I feel like it looks better to wear black shoes because it kind of seamlessly flows with your pants and can create like a slimmer look in your leg. But I really like these. These are going to be good for the summer. Only problem is if you can tell, like, this is really narrow. And I'm not like... I don't have fucking crazy ass, like, I don't have cankles or some shit like that. Like, I have actually weirdly slim legs for a person my size, but these are tighter on the ankle, bro. Like, when you zip these up all the way, it's tight as fuck. But they look cool. It just sucks. Like, I can't, like, tuck pants into them, so I kind of have to either wear them over or maybe roll them up because it's just, it's too, it's too tight. I can't, I can't tuck them, but for $110, man... Can't go wrong. And Amila Macer is one of my favorite designers of all time. I now own three pairs of her shoes, and they're just... I'll forever wear these, so... Hopefully these can last me a decent amount of time, even though they're already pretty beat up, but... And Amila Meester, white, leather, high-top, converse-looking shoe boot things. Alright, so that does it for today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the shoes. Like, these... I've gotten some very, very nice pieces of shoes over these past few months. I'm really, really happy with... Uh, I fucking mean it this time, bro. I'm gonna keep making videos, man. I, 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 like, really like doing this shit. Like, when I looked at some of my videos and saw, like, personally for me, like, a couple of them had over a thousand, and, like, that one I made about pants had, like, four thousand, bro. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, when I made these videos, I was hoping, like, if I could get a hundred views ever, I'd be like, oh, that's, that's tight. So, you know, I really want to keep doing this. I enjoy doing it, you know, and, and I buy and sell a lot of clothes. So, there's always, I always have interesting things to show, so... Either my next video is either going to be maybe just talking about regular clothes or I might talk about the Air Force One. So just let me know in the comments. If you guys want me to do a video right away talking about the forces, I'll do that right away. And another thing, I don't really like to say this shit, bro, but like follow your boy on Instagram, man. I'm going to put this shit at the end. Like I got nobody, bro. Like nobody fucks with me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like, yeah, dude, it'd be super fire. Like I'd love to like actually see some of you dudes rather than just like liking it, commenting and subscribing. Like I don't really get to know. So Follow me on there. Just, just like, hit me up. You can DM me, bro. If you have questions or just, like, random shit, dude, just hit me up. Like, 
whatever you want, bro. I will answer. I won't be fucking bougie and be like, uh, fuck, like, bro, I got like 150 followers. I'm a fucking nobody dog. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for today. I'm definitely going to be fucking making videos, I promise. And if I don't, fucking harass the shit out of this video so I get thousands of emails telling me to make videos. So, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.